Right, so we're going to see how to uh, write a simple program for the 8951 controllers in assembly language. So what I've done here is I've opened a notepad document and I'm going to start writing my program. It's going to be a simple program. It's just going to turn on one of the uh, pins or set, set it to one and clear another pin. The first thing I have to do is I have to um, you know start uh, give the set the origin for the instructions so for example org zero hexadecimal is telling the program or telling the uh, assembler that the next instruction has to go to the zero hexadecimal address or double zero double zero hexadecimal address which is the interrupt vector uh, or the reset interrupt vector so over here if I write small jump to start and by the way um, the reset vector basically means that whenever the controller is reset or it is powered on it is automatically transfer or it automatically jumps to this particular address that is zero hexadecimal and executes whatever instruction is written there in this case it would be small jump to start so it will jump to the start label and start label will be uh, placed at let's say <coughs> this address by the way assembly language uh, is not case sensitive so you can write either in lower case or upper case it doesn't matter so now this particular address 40 hexadecimal is just above the interrupt vector which means we can now start writing our program sequentially and we don't have to worry uh, about it getting into the interrupt vectors or it being you know uh, not being executed properly so now let's say I say set bit p1 uh, 2.1 and clear bit p2.2 so now if I have an LED connected to pin 2.1 it will be turned on and if I have an LED connected to pin 2.2 it will be turned off and that's about it uh, I then I can say uh, end and that's it that's the end of the program it's a very simple first program so now I have to save it as first of all I have to select all files and I have to save it as for example uh, first dot a51 so dot a51 extension has to be given to it and I save it in let's say whichever folder I have my AT51 assembler installed in this case it is an E drive in AT51 so I'm going to install, uh, save this file first dot a51 in this folder save it now I have to uh, start the DOS prompt or I have to go to the DOS prompt so I go there and type cmd.exe and this opens up this DOS prompt window for me and over here I have to go to that particular folder where I saved the file which is this one let me just see where I save the file so it was an E drive right so I have to go to E drive so I go to E drive and then I use the file ASM 51 and then first dot a51 so no errors found and these are the files that have been created now I will use os.exe to convert my object file into a hex file again if I take a look at the directory so that file has been created now this first dot hex file is the one which you can now burn into your controller 